But there's so much to learn about dark matter. That's what's crazy. I mean, all these people should be should care about this. All, everyone in the world should actually care about this because this is the most exciting time and place in possibly the history of science. The Higgs boson discovery at the first run of the LHC was a fantastic success, but it was almost more of a fantastic confirmation than anything because it was the last remaining piece to be plugged into the puzzle of the standard model of particle physics, which is this complete description of nature at its fundamental particle scale. Um, but we know for a fact, though, that the standard model is not complete. We know from other observations, from astrophysics, for instance, that the standard model is incomplete. And so at the, this second run of the LHC, run two, we are going to be looking for a lot of the ways that we could help explain some of these uh, these unsolved mysteries of nature, supersymmetry, uh, large extra dimensions, mini miniature black holes, all of these things. But honestly, between you and me, the thing that will be the most fascinating about Run 2 at the LHC is not to hear from a colleague, hey, look, a dark matter particle, but more to hear them point at their laptop and say, hey, what is that? Because for us, we, you know, we do what we do, not because we're looking for one specific thing, but because we're just pushing forward into the unknown. We have no clue what we're going to find at Run 2 at the LHC, and that's the most intriguing prospect of all.